With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? The time period of a freely suspended magnet is four seconds. Now, if it is broken into length into two parts and one part is suspended in the same way, okay? That means in the first case, if it was uh, this uh, fixed at the uh, at the center. Then in the second case also it is fixed at the center. When the in if in the first case if it was fixed at the end, then in the second case also it would be fixed at the end itself. We need to find the new time period. Okay. Now first of all, what will happen? For example, if uh, this is our magnet, let's say this is our original magnet. Now what we have done, we have just broken this magnet into two parts. Okay. So let's say this is one of the part. This would be another part. Okay. So we can just draw a single part itself. So there would be another part. Okay. Now this is north pole. Let's say this is our south pole. Now if we break this, okay, then this would remain. For example, this portion we are just drawing. So this would remain south, but this would be north portion. So this would initially length was 2L. Let's say, okay. Or we can say that if initial length is L itself, we can just say that if this is L. Then the new length would be what? It would be equals to L by 2 for a single one. Okay, this is if L, then this would be L divided by 2. Okay, now what will happen? Now if we are dividing the magnet, for example, in the first case, if mu is the uh, this initial dipole moment, okay, magnetic dipole moment, which would be equals to magnetic strength multiplied by the length, then what would be the new dipole moment? So this pole strength would remain same. Let's say it called to be p, but we are reducing the length to half, so it would be p, and length would be L divided by 2. That means we can say that our new magnetic dipole, uh, uh, this moment would be equals to initial, which is equals to P L divided by two. Okay. Now, another thing, what is the value of the time period? Okay. The value of the time period when a magnet is suspended in a magnetic field, it is equals to two pi i divided by mu b in the square root. Okay. This is the value of a uh, this freely suspended magnet. Now, i is the moment of inertia. Mu is the Magnetic dipole moment B is the magnetic field intensity. We are not uh, changing B, but we are changing because we are uh, 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 just uh, just cutting this. So mu would be changed. Now what is I? I we know that if it if it is fixed at the center, okay, or we can say that it would be equals to m l square divided by 12. This would be the value. So from here itself, what we can see that I would be proportional to mass into length square. We can say this, okay, or we can just write our I would be equals to We can just write if we wanted to write, I would be equals to some constant. There would be some constant into m l square. Okay. Now, what would be the new moment of inertia? I dash. I dash. We just write k is the constant. Now, on cutting it into into two equal part, mass would be reduced. So mass would be equals to m divided by two. Okay. Length would be reduced. So it would be l divided by two square. So our I dash would be equals to. What would be this value equals to? It would be k m l square divided by this would be eight. What is k m l square? It is equals to the initial moment of inertia divided by i. Okay. Now what would be the new time period? If we calculate the value of the new time period, so t dash would be equals to two pi i dash divided by mu dash and b is our b because b is not changed. So it would be equals to two pi in the square root. What is the value of our new i uh, moment of inertia? I divided by eight. What is the value of uh, new this dipole moment? It is mu divided by two. So we just write mu b divided by two. Okay. Now from this expression, our t dash would turn out to be two pi i divided by a uh, four times mu b. Okay. Now what is this part? Two pi under root i divided by mu b. This is the initial time period divided by square root of four would be equals to two. We can just see our initial time period would be equals to this one. Now, what is the time period which has been given? It has been given to be initial time period is four, so we can say that our t dash would be equals to four divided by two. That means two seconds. So two second would be our answer. Which option is the correct option? B is our correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.